Hey, South Jersey, we have a busy week ahead. And it's not just because we have Santa coming down the chimney on Friday. We have the winter solstice today. We have the great conjunction today. And we also have around the rain and snow as well as a bigger storm for the end of the week. But let's talk about the winter solstice first. Happy winter solstice to you all. It is the shortest day of the year when the sun's direct rays are over the tropic of Capricorn, 23.5 degrees south latitude. And we have the lowest sun angle in the sky. In fact, you've probably been noticing it over the past couple of weeks because the sun is getting into that spot right below the visor in your car and is making it quite uncomfortable, especially during the morning in the later part of the afternoon hours. Now, even though we have the shortest day of the year today, it doesn't mean we have the earliest sunsets of the year. In fact, sunsets have been getting later over the past couple of weeks. You're not noticing it yet, but you will notice it as you get towards New Year's Eve and as we go into the month of January. Now, conversely, our latest sunrises of the year are not today. It's actually just after the New Year. The reason for that is the way that we keep time and the way the Earth spins about its axis. You see, the Earth spins about its axis just a little over 24 hours. However, our clock always spins around 24 hours. So that difference is giving us those differences in sunsets and sunrises. Now we have the great conjunction tonight. That is when Saturn and Earth or Saturn and Jupiter, I should say, are so close to each other. They look like one. In fact, they're only a tenth of a degree apart in the night sky. So what is Mother Nature giving us for this once in a lifetime event? Because this only happens about once every 400 years when it is close. Well, Plenty of cloud cover. We'll have to wait until next life for us here. Good amount of clouds as we go throughout the overnight hours. And between about 10 p.m. to 3 a.m., watch that area of rain and snow get in. Yes, snow. Especially for those of you who have not seen snow yet this year. This will be a nice treat. However, that being said, these are conversational flakes. I don't see any snow actually accumulating on the ground. Low temperatures will only be around 32 on the mainland for Monday night in the mid-30s over at the shore. Later in the week, we'll be in the 60s here, I think, with some of our high temperatures on Christmas Eve. But watch that line get through. That's a line of heavy rain or even thunderstorms during the afternoon hours on Christmas Eve. We could be talking about strong, if not damaging, winds with this. Look at our wind gusts. This is from our GFS American model for Thursday afternoon. Gusts in the 50s for most of the shore, even a couple of 60s. I think 60s are a little aggressive, but the point is, once you get above 45 miles an hour, yeah, the potential for wind damage and power outages will be there, and we'll monitor that as we go throughout the week. As we go into Christmas Day, it will be getting colder, and there's about a 1-4 in four shot for some snow. We will monitor that as we go throughout this week. I won't be with you at 1.30 p.m. for the latest forecast video, but you catch me at 6.30 tonight. In the meanwhile, you can follow me on social media, or you can always come back to our website at thepressofac.com slash weather.